Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Job chapter 8 and verse 8. For inquire, I pray thee, for the of the former age, and prepare thyself to the search of thy fathers. So the Bible instructs us to prepare ourselves to the search of our fathers. So we that's what we just brought out with Deuteronomy 28. It's us searching our fathers. Because in order for us to actually uh pinch that curiosity of that of knowing like why do these things happen? We gotta search our forefathers, and our forefathers is in the Bible. So, with this next presentation, with the Dark Ages, I know that's I'm, I'm pictured on there, but Officer Bezalel is gonna actually do the uh, presentation for this. All right. Good afternoon, everybody. Bezalel, um, how many of y'all first time ever hearing this history before? Not show sure hands. First time. All right. Because I will say this: they, when I say they, talk about the other nations, have purposely taking our history book, which is the Bible, out of the school system. Y'all do know that at one point, the Bible was in the school system, right? Mm -hmm. Don't y'all find it kind of odd that they took it out of the school system, but they keep it in the courtroom, but they never open it. <laughs> they use it, make you swear on it, but they never open it. So what we're about to do is show you the real images that's actually in the Bible. Uh, let's start with the scripture. Give me a black scripture real quick. Watch this. Check this out. How many of y'all knew that um, the Bible got, has coloring. It's coloring the Bible. Watch this. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14 and verse 1. A little loud, just a little loud. Judah mourneth. Judah mourneth. All right, watch this. And the gates thereof languish. And the leaders languish. They lack it. Judah is the nation of Israel, but the leaders of the nation, they lack it. They mourn it. Why? Because we, we've been in captivity. We are uh, we at the lowest the bottom of the uh, totem pole. Read. They are black. They are what? Black. What color is Judah? Black. Give me another, watch this, read. Unto the ground. Uh-huh. Because we remember, the first man was formed, was formed out of what? Anybody know? <laughs> hmm? The dust. Did you dig it to the ground? What color is the dust? Black. 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 Read that again. They are black unto the ground. They are black unto the ground. Is that it? And the cry of Jerusalem is gone up. Uh-huh. That's it. Watch this. Give me the first slide. Give me one last trip. Right there. What we're looking at right here is the boy name, right? There's a church in Romania. How is it that every nation outside of the United States knows exactly what's in our record book, our history book, the Bible? Know exactly what the prophets look like, except right here in the United States, where they say, in God we trust. This is supposed to be what, a Bible-based uh, country, right? Watch this. I'm going to show you the pictures that's actually on the stained glass. The stained glass, that didn't start here in America when we did the uh, Christian church or the mega churches. I'm going to show you what the stained glass looked like. You see that? That right there is an angel. Right? What do you have in his hand? It's called a trumpet or a shofar. Pass me that real, show, that real quick. All right. I want y'all to pass this around. Let's start with the brothers. Pass this around. Get a good look at this. But that angel having his hand is something very significant, very symbolic. Give me that scripture I asked for. This is the book of the Song of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 5. Uh -huh. I am black, but comely. I am black, but comely. As you can see, the people that's rising up as he blowing the trumpet are black people. The angel himself is black. King, King Solomon said what? I am black. I am black, but comely. But comely means black and beautiful, black and handsome. That's what he tells us in the Bible. Read. O ye daughters of Jerusalem, uh -huh. as the tents of Kedar. As, as the, the tents of Kedar. Kedar is another term for dark or black. Read. As the curtains of Solomon. Uh huh. That's now, give me that other scripture. Keep that, that up there. Give me that other scripture. Because what is this angel doing? Put on a horn. Blowing a horn, but now he's calling to the people. What people he calling to? Black people? Say Jews? 
Somebody said, Israel, Israel. you're all right. But what, what's so significant about these people that this angel calling to? See, the other nations outside of the United States, they know exactly what this is. What you got? Um, what are they coming out of? Oh, good question. You in the spirit. Watch this. Read what you got. Because he asked the question. He said, what is that they coming out of? So we already identified the angels are black. The so-called blacks are standing there. The Israelites are black. And he said, what are they coming out of? You know, we already identified that he's blowing the shofar. How far did we get? Y'all got it? Okay, keep it going. Keep it going around the room. All right, get that from us real quick. So spiritual about that, too. We're going to read it right now. Read. It's the book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 4, and verse 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a... Say that again. For the Lord himself. The, it's going to come a time and day. No man, we don't know the time nor the, or the day. But the scripture says what? For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven. He's going to descend from heaven and come down from the heavens. Read. With a shout. With a what? With a shout. That's that trumpet. With a shout. Read. With the voice of the archangel. With the, that's the archangel right there. Read. And with the trump of God. With the what? Trump of God. With the trump of God. Let's see what happens. Now the brother, what's your name? Harold. Harold asks, what is it the black people coming out of? <laughs> Watch this. Read. And the dead in Christ. The who? The dead in Christ. Those are graves. Mm -hmm. The dead in Christ, meaning those who labored in the truth and died keeping the commandments. Read. Shall rise first. Those going to be the first ones to rise up. When, when that angel show up on the scene and blow that trumpet, the ones that die keeping God's laws, statutes, and commandments, it's going to be a crazy, scary day. Sight. But you're going to see the dead rise up first. Read. Verse 17. Uh-huh. Then, uh -huh. then we which are alive and uh -huh. remain. Ooh, read that part again. Then we which are alive and remain. So first, the angel going to blow the trumpet. The dead going to rise first. The ones that died in the truth. Then it said, then we which are alive. The ones that's alive in that day. What's going to happen? And remain shall be called up. And remain keeping the commandments. To no, they're going to get caught up too. They're going to get taken up too. Read. Together with him, with them in the clouds. And the chariots. How many of y'all are familiar with that little cadence or that song? Swing low, sweet chariot, swing low. How many of y'all heard that? Some of y'all may call it a Negro spiritual. But that's what that cloud talking about. When they get taken up, the dead going to rise first. Then those that remain alive, keeping the commandments, all going to go into those chariots. The America called UFOs. Who said it? Brother right here. They call them UFOs. Unidentified objects. But the Bible tells us exactly what they are. All right? All right, next slide. All right, here's more images. Black images of the stained glass church in Romania. Here's you see. The apostles, the, excuse me, the, the disciples, the prophets and the disciples, black people. The angels are black, John the Baptist was black, Christ black, Samuel, all right, Moses, his sister, Aaron, all black. Uh, next slide. And if, look, can they take pictures? Yeah. Feel free to take pictures. I'm going to tell you, you're not going to find this nowhere else. What they're going to do, I don't know when, but they're going to erase a lot of this stuff off the internet. They don't want y'all to know. All right? So feel free to take pictures. If you got questions, feel free to ask questions after this segment. Next, oh, look at this. King David was black. All right? More of the prophets. King David, look what he got in his hand, a heart. You know what scripture I want? In uh, seconds, is it second Samuel? First Samuel. First Samuel. First Samuel. He has a heart in his hand, right? King David was very musical, inclined, and as a warrior at the same time. He was a man of war. And he also was a man of peace at one point. But what you see, King David painted as a black man because that's what he were, so-called black. The prophets are getting black. All right? Now remember, in the beginning of the slide, the church that we, so we showed the Bourdain was in Romania. Yeah. Still there to this day. The elites control it, so-called so whites. The dukes, all right? They run it. They run the Vatican. Inside the Vatican is more of our records, historical records, biblical records, our history. All right? You got the scripture? Yes, Check right. this out. It's the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 16 and verse 23. Uh -huh. And it came to pass when the evil spirit from God was upon Saul. An evil spirit at one point came on Saul. Who remember the history 
where Saul tried to kill David. He was, David was on the run for a while. The spirit jumped on Saul, evil spirit, and we'll see what, let's see what David did. That David took in heart. He took a heart, right? And played with his hand. And played with his hand, meaning he played the instrument, right? How many of y'all are familiar with um, jazz? Not show hands. What type of move does jazz put you in? Smooth, calm, relaxed. Smooth, calm, relaxed. What about heavy metal? <laughs> Out of control. Out of control. Make you want to do a mosh pit, right? <laughs> King David ended up sent to control evil spirits. Soothe the spirit. Put on some nice jazz. He played that. Read. So Saul was refreshed and was well, and the evil spirit departed from him. You see that? From him. It's a little tip. Y'all got some bad kids running around the house, tearing it up, throw some jazz on. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> All right, next slide. All right, here again. On the Bernay, you have, on the stained glass, more depictions. But this one is very, very important. Check this out. Can you see to this the left edge, or the right, y'all y'all left, in the middle? What is that, what, is, what color is this guy right here? Is he, is he the same color as the rest of the prophets? No. He almost like a reddish color, right? So-called white man. This right here will be known as Idumium or Esau, the devil that the Bible speaks of. What you see is the judgment of the man that put us in captivity. All these years, the man that raped our women, the man that divided families, the man that sent us on auction blocks, sold us to Virginia, to St. Charles, to Mississippi. That's what you see. He's being judged now. When it's all said and done, he got to get judged. Now, y'all can see, but that's the hand of God coming down. You see that? And a hooker. Ain't no, ain't no escaping that. I will say this. We all someday got to stand before the judgment seat. All of us. But his judgment, he already know. He himself know how he's going to end. All right? Um, we got over here. All right, here he is. These are the other nations. Esau, specifically. You see him in the middle? Red looking people? Getting judged. All right? There it is again. Take pictures. Y'all not going to see this again. They have taken these out of the schools, out of the libraries. You might, well, we've had this book in this library. Will we? We, know, we may not find that. This, this right, these are the pictures in this library. And I believe this book is called the? The Borne. That's the name of the book? The Borne. Yeah. Borne? Okay. We have the Russian version. We got the Russian version. What was that called? Uh, something in Russia. Russian icons. <laughs> Russian icons. Russian icons. Russian icons. That one is, I think, is affordable. Correct? No. No. no? It's, like the, it's over uh, like fourteen k or something like that. You see that? Why is? It, let me ask you this question. Why did they raise the price on that book? Who's thinking? Let's see. Brother with the hand up right here. Why did they raise the price on the book? So it won't be on the There you go. See that? They don't want you to know who you are. Give me a scripture on that. Okay. Read what you got. This is the book of Revelations. Chapter 13 and verse 9. Uh -huh. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Uh -huh. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. That's what you see right there. He led us into captivity, now he's going to go into captivity. Read. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Uh -huh. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. It's the patience and faith of the saints. If I'm going to prove to you out of the Bible, our history book, like the brother stated, the reason why the price went up because they don't want us to know who we are, where we come from, what's our culture, what we're supposed to do, what we're supposed to eat, not supposed to eat, things of that nature. Um, what you got? I got you. Three, the book of Psalms, chapter 83, I'm going to start at verse 2. Uh -huh. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult. The enemies, that's plural. They make a tumult, meaning there's a gathering of the enemies. They sit down, they plot and plan how they're going to destroy the so-called blacks, Hispanic, Native Indians. How they're going to destroy the Israelites. Read. And they have... And they that hate thee have lifted up their head, the head. They that hate us, they lifted up the head. Meaning what? They walk around such pride that you would have thought they would have got rid of these records, these books. But they, they so proud they left them in there. Why? Because they said, niggas can't read. Put it in the book. We'll leave it there. We ain't got to erase it. Just take it out to schools, though. Hmm. Read what you got. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. They have taken crafty counsel, meaning this was purposely done. They sat down at a round table. Hmm. What can we do to keep these niggas under our foot? It was a cartoon called Pinky and the Brain. Uh -huh. 
Y'all remember that? And every time it will come on, I think the little mouse will say, what are we going to do today, uh, Pete? And he will yell back, we're going to do what? Rule the world. That's what they do. World domination is for y'all. Remember what you got? And consulted against thy hidden ones. They consulted against the hidden ones. Who make up the majority of the prison system today? Black and brown. Black and Hispanics. And Indians. Read it again. And consulted against thy hidden ones. That's us inca incarcerated. You think prisons was built by crafty design or just something that just came up with just off the fly? That was crappy design. It was once said that based off of fifth graders' test scores, I think, was it Eichel basic skills? Yes. Mm -hmm. They can determine how many more prisons they're going to need in the near future. That's crazy. When I, when I found that out, it blew my mind. All right? Read on. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. They said, let us cut them off from being a nation. They don't want us to know that we are the nation of Israel. So therefore, they cut us off, meaning they closed the books, made it where we can't read no more. You got caught in slavery reading, you got your hands chopped off, hung, or burnt out the states. Read that part again. They have said, come, and let us cut them off from being a nation. Let us cut them off from being a nation. Let's not let them know they're Israelites. Let's call them Negroes. Let's call them black. Let's call them African American. Let's cut them off from being a nation. Once we find out who we are, collectively as a whole, and come back to God's laws, we are extremely effective as a nation. You understand that? Today is the Lord's Sabbath day. Seventh day of the week, day of rest. No buying, no cooking, no selling, no working, things of that nature, right? If we as a nation collectively kept the Sabbath day holy, mm -hmm. do you know that is a spiritual boycott? <laughs> the economy will fall. You understand that? If we stop eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, catfish, as a nation, the economy will fall. They will have to depend on us. They know we're the, we the, we the top nation, but they know that they beat us down to the point we don't know. Is that it? It's more. Read. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. So they don't want us to remember who we are. Next slide. Again, more black depictions. <clears throat> this Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and John the Baptist. All right. Anybody familiar with Abraham? Got one brother. By show of hands, who's familiar with Abraham? All right. We got Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Who's, who knows what Jacob's name was actually changed to? By show of hands. Uh, let's go to the sister in the back. What was his name? What was Jacob's name changed to? Israel. Say it again? Israel. Israel. And we are the descendants of Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel. Which will make us what? The Israelites. Y'all get it? You would never learn this in school. They would never, in fact, it was a video that went viral on social media, and I forget what college was it. It was a top college. They had all so-called white people in the room, just like this, and they was discussing what we're discussing right now. There weren't no black people in there. Mm -hmm. But somebody posted the video and got in trouble. You see what I'm saying? It's, it was a real class in college that they taught. They didn't, they didn't want no Israelites in that class. The purpose of that class was to build them up and keep us down. It's, they got things set in place purposely where we technically never supposed to wake up. All right, meaning come to the real understanding of who we are. One of them is a dress code. What's crazy about the dress code, how many of y'all by show hands have been to a public restroom? On that public restroom, there's two depictions. One for the man, one for the woman. How do you know which restroom to go in for the woman? It has a dress, right? Mm -hmm. How do you know which restroom to go in for the man? Yeah. Hands. Hands. Mm -hmm. How is it that those images are before our eyes every every day, but yet we still go against what the Bible says? They put stuff before us to keep us down purposely. All right? Next slide. What we got here? All right, this looks like Adam and Eve. 
Brother Adam and Eve in the garden. All right? Black. All right? Adam was formed from dusty ground, dark skin. Eve came from where? He said it. Who else? Where she come from? Where did Eve come from? Yeah, you. Huh? Adam's rib. Adam's rib. Y'all right. So, what does the term woman come from? Man. 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 When the most I took Adam and Eve from Adam's rib, he formed one man. Means from man. All right? Uh, and that's the Lord. Lord, Adam, and Eve. He's about to judge them because of what had happened. All right? The transgression that Eve did. Okay? And for the record, I know I don't want to get too deep, but I know most secular groups like Christianity or Catholicism, they teach that they ate a piece of um, an apple or something like that. Mm -hmm. That's false. Now, the Bible does say, does it say fruit, correct? Yes, yeah. Right? But that's talking about what they did was learn another doctrine. They went outside the scriptures. And that's why they got kicked out. You understand? Next slide. All right, right here we got medieval painting. Um, page 351, King David with the Bible in his hand from Icon by the court witzman. All right, this book I'm pretty sure is probably high priced as well. But these are books that you're going to find in the hands of scholars. You know, all right? They got them. They collect them. On the other side, we got Moses with the burning bush and the commandments, also from the icon. All right? Next slide. Here we got two archangels. Um, Printing is a little messed up. But again, the angels are black. Give me a black script to deal with the angels. Watch this. The angels are black. They look just like you and me. All right? You might be sitting amongst an angel right now not even knowing. Matter of fact, give me that scripture real quick. Entertain the angels in the way. Hebrews 13. <laughs> Check this out. That's why we got to be very mindful how we approach one another. What goes on today in the city of Chicago is ridiculous. These young men, they don't respect the old. Old don't respect the It's all messed up. But watch this. Hebrews 13, 2. The book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 2. Huh? Be not forgetful of entertaining strangers. Be not forgetful for entertaining strangers, read. For thereby some have entertained angels unawares. That's been times where we have entertained angels not even knowing. Mm -hmm. Meaning we've been amongst angels not even knowing it was angels. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Abraham encountered angels. Lot encountered angels. Uh, who else? Plenty of prophets. Jordan, Elijah, Elisha, all encountered angels. All right? Uh, next slide. We got Christ and the disciples. Black man. I got to prove it. Give me uh, color Christ real quick. Christ is a black man. Paul's a black man. John the Baptist. All the disciples. All the disciples are black. Again, this is found in the book. The icon. This is the book of Revelations, chapter 1 and verse 1. Who knows what the root word of Revelation is? I need some new hand. All right, sister. Right. Here. The what? The root word of revelation is revealed. We're about to reveal the real depiction of Christ himself. Read. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revealing of Jesus Christ. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants. Things, show unto his servants. Read. Things which must shortly come to pass. All right, jump down. Or jump up 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. His head and his hairs was white like wool. What nation on the planet has woolly hair? We do. That's common sense. So don't be fooled by those pictures you see in the Christian church. White eyes, the blue eyes, the tree hair. That's false. Read. As white as snow. White as snow. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes were as a flame of fire. Now, you may think that's strange. That's a similitude or allegory to letting us know that Christ's eyes is going to be, the whites of his eyes are going to be red. Why? Because he drunk wine in moderation. Let's get that precept to prove it. All right? Christ, remember at one point they were trying to call him a wine bitter. Because he drank wine. But Christ wasn't a drunk. He drank wine in moderation. Okay? What happens when you drink wine in moderation? After so many cups, you know, the whites of your eyes turn red. What you got? It's the book of Genesis, chapter 49 and verse 12. Huh? His eyes shall be red with wine. His eyes shall be red with wine. Yes. 
When he returned, second, the second return, second coming, his eyes will be red again. All right, go back. Yes, sir. Verse, Revelation chapter 1, verse 15. No, uh -huh. verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool, Read. as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Read. And his feet. His what? His feet. His feet. John the Revelator was able to see Christ's feet. Because during that time, the prophets and the angels and the, um, Christ himself walked the earth with open toed sandals. So when he looked down at his feet, let's see what he saw. Like unto fine brass. His feet was like unto fine brass. What color is brass, bro? Dark. Dark? Okay. Gold. Like gold. Okay. Fine brass. Watch this read. As if they burn in a furnace. Now you take something that's dark or gold, whatever. The is brown. And you burn it in a furnace. What color would it be then? Black. Black. So Christ's feet was black. What color was his arms? Black. Black. He didn't have a skin disease. This is Christ the black man. Who will he have? Just like you and I. Next to picture. Next slide. All right, who we got? We got Samson and the lion. Samson was black as well. All right? You see that? All the You're going to find out that the prophets are black. You go to these Christian churches, I advise you to stay out of them, but they're not going to teach this. They're going to skip over all the color scriptures. And there's numerous color scriptures in the Bible. Next. Who we got here? Abraham. Abraham, all right? I think, um, this is, this painting that says it's in the catacomb, right? Anybody familiar with the catacombs? Yeah. All right, it was something that was nearly, pretty much underneath, underground, mm. underneath the, uh, they call it the arena, all right, where they made us fight animals. I just saw Samson fight. That was the sports, the first sports. We were sports entertainment. Y'all do know that, right? Mm -hmm. Now today, we on TV playing basketball, dunking, football, hurting each other. But back then, we was in there wrestling bears, tigers, lions, oh my. That's where that saying come from. Because that was us doing that. We were sports entertainment. Next. That's what Paul was a black man from the tribe of Benjamin, which means today Jamaican. Paul was so-called Jamaican. Know, how many of y'all knew that? Yes. Paul was so-called Jamaican from the tribe of Benjamin. Next. I'm short on time. I'm just speeding it up so we can do a QA. Uh, we're going to just go through the rest of these. More, more black images. Read it. Let me excuse me. Next slide. All right? Who we got here? More black images of the prophets. All right? Next slide. Feel like I say, take pictures, y'all. All right? Apostle, deacons. All right? We got the scrolls, the Bible in his hand, because that's how the Bible was at one point. Now we got it in the, uh, in the actual book. All right, next. We got the prophet Daniel. Now, how many of y'all read with Daniel? Daniel was thrown in the lion's den. Daniel interpreted, interpreted a dream of a uh, wicked king. All right? Peter and Paul. And, Peter and Paul. That's Peter and Paul on, you, on your left. Peter and Paul. And to your right is Daniel. All right, next. Oh, that's the destruction right there. In the, in the last days, in that day, it's going to be a lot of fire, a lot of dead bodies. You can read that in uh, Psalms 91. All right? Look at that. Uh, you got angels going up. You got people going through the, uh, in a portal, uh, portal. Portal. All right, that's the destruction. Next slide. The Catalan Atlas. Okay? We got here. We got, uh, look, to show you that we were warriors, that's a knight of the Holy Lance, right? We were the top warriors, okay? Don't get it twisted. You had King David, you had Abishai, you had, uh, give me some You had a lot of, we had a lot of, we was warriors. I won't quite see Look at that armor. Look at the coach's coach army got on. Maccabees, how can I forget that? Mm -hmm. All right. Next. Look how, oh, look. oh, go back, go back real quick. Look how royal should be dressed. Look at, look at the cup he holding his hand. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. America has took that and they made it with, it's like unholy now, it's the pimps carry. No, we used to carry cups like that for real. Gold cups. We had armed uh, cup bearers also. Okay, next. Look at, who was always royalty. Look at the, uh, what do they call that thing right there? The scepter. Scepter. Shows rulership. All right. You okay, can't, come on, look at that. We can tell clearly that's a white one right, right? That's black. Okay. Up to the black. 
<laughs> right. Look at the garment down. I got a lion on his shoulder. You know what I'm saying? Re uh, go to the next slide. All right. What we got here? It says this. I know. But this, we're showing you how royal we are. And this is doing, um, what's this arrow? Dark, 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 Dark Ages. Uh -huh. God. We are gods on earth. Uh -huh. We are gods on earth. Uh -huh. We are gods on earth. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.